What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the San Mario Radio Sports Network and slowly and surely my voice is coming back. This should be the Wednesday video of Samurai Speaks episode number two. As I said, I'm bringing it back in full force and as you see by the title, this is also about the NBA and it says the NBA draft parentheses solution. So I feel like the NBA draft is something that we have to completely redo. I mean, we had 16 freshmen go in the first round this year, some of which can be great. Probably all of them are going to end up as role players. Maybe except Fultz, Ball, Tatum, Fox, maybe Bam Adebayo, maybe Josh Jackson, maybe TJ Leaf can be a little more than a role player, but I mean, all these guys... They're not like the 84 draft. They're not like the 2003 draft. They're not like that. I mean, as much as we'd like to think so, they're not. And we just put a lot of value into those guys. 16 freshmen in the first round. I mean, that's insane. But the solution, I think the solution to the NBA draft needs to be simple. Either you let them come out straight out of 18 and put them into the G League for a year or two. not No longer the D League, it's the G League now. You either do that or from 16 have them in the G League and at 18 let them go and play in the draft. Make it so it's 18 years old. Because these colleges are abusing their players. I mean, not only is one and done bad. I mean, you saw with the Ben Simmons LSU thing. He was basically like, I mean, school, yeah, whatever. I'm going to be making millions in about six months. Like, what's the point of them having the stoppage of going to school if they're not going to care about it? They're probably barely going to classes. Their teachers love them because, hey, bro, you're about to be a professional NBA player. I can say that I taught you. I mean, why, why, why else would that stuff go? And especially in schools like LSU, schools like Kansas, Kentucky, Duke, I mean, come on, North Carolina, come on. Those schools are football, basketball, baseball, lacrosse, volleyball, softball. I mean, those schools are sports. Put that into one thing. They're not going to care about their school, so you're just wasting money. Money that you could probably go towards giving a scholarship to someone who, and this is going to sound wrong, but someone who's probably way more worth that because you could give that scholarship to someone like that or you could give a scholarship to someone who's going to try to help cure some disease that's in the world or maybe instead of having that with you know fast fun how they do everything reworking that so that kids who aren't don't have enough to pay for college get more in scholarship money instead of giving your scholarship money to make more millions to your school to players who are going to leave you in six months which make absolutely no sense at all because you're paying for their tuition for classes that they're probably barely going to and so that's the first thing. Make it go down to 18, have them go into the G League, maybe around 16, something like that. And I mean, have them do like we have FLVS, Florida Virtual School. Have them do virtual school or something along those lines. Or maybe put them in the G League at 18 and they can't go into the NBA until 20. They got two years of development at least. They've been playing basketball already. Or the best thing you can do is Raise the age to 20. Make them stay in college for two years. Make them take a spring and fall and a spring. At, or like a, sorry, a fall, a spring and a fall. At least don't have them take what they're probably doing, which is, all right, well, I'm going to take the fall semester. Maybe I'll take like a class in the spring semester and then I'm going to go make millions now. No, have them learn. It, either you got to make a, a difference with these kids because they're coming out and they're not fully developed players and their their expectations are so high right now it's markel Fultz. they're already calling them the feds Fultz and bead uh dario Saric and um what's it called ben simmons like what part of that isn't already a lot of pressure and what is Fultz? i think Fultz is 20 years old maybe 19 years old coming out of um geez i can't remember what college he came out of washington like how are you going to put these expectations on these kids, these 19-year-old kids, 20-year-old kids that for all, like, you know, intensive purposes, 
aren't meant to carry a franchise at that age. I mean, right now, Lonzo Ball, just in their press conference, Magic said, hopefully there's a Ball jersey up there someday. Are you kidding me? You're telling this 19-year-old boy, hopefully, aka this is what my expectations of you are, that your number two jersey gets retired along with your name up in that rafter. I mean, those expectations are high. Not only does he have his father and they're like, oh, well, he's been with it his entire life. It doesn't matter if you've been with high expectations your entire life. This is the NBA now. Like, college is a cakewalk compared to the NBA. Like, you don't even have to, it's not even classes you're worrying about. You're worrying about real life. You're paying for things that you didn't pay for in college. I mean, you got to make sure your money stays right. Most of these kids fail because they can't keep their money in check. I mean, they have to learn. Either make it so the baseball rule. Baseball, hey, you can come out at 18 or you go to college, you got to stay two years. Or maybe if you have to go to the extreme, make them stay four years. Hell, I mean, we'll get a lot less talent coming out quickly. But by the time that they're in that fourth year, they're in their senior year, not only does that make college basketball better because you create rivalries again, which is what college basketball really needs. You need some rivalries and like right now because the only time people watch college basketball is like towards the like elite eight in the NCAA tournament and that's like about it. Some of them watch the NCAA tournament religiously and it's like whatever. But I mean, the NCAA basketball needs some rivalries again. And then not only that, like, you need better developed players. We will have a better NBA because throughout that four-year period, they can tell, okay, he was a one-year wonder. And he went to school. He got his degree. He did everything fully. Look at D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell has multiple all-star potential and possibly Hall of Fame with just out of pure talent. Just out of the pure talent that he possesses. But... He's immature. He came out early, 19 years old, going to Los Angeles, man. Playing for the Lakers. Come on. How do you expect these kids to, to deal with this stuff? I honestly don't get it. I don't understand. But whatever. That's, that's something that they need to deal with on their own. Because this is going to get out of control. And we need... To find a way to make the NBA draft not only better for the kids, but better for the game of basketball.